To build our four to one mechanical advantage with a change of direction, we'll start by taking our figure eight and a bite and placing it up by our anchor point, creating a bite down by the load. We'll take one of our single pulleys, opening it up 180 degrees, sliding the rope into place, rotating the pulley back to lock the rope. As I follow the rope up to the top of my anchor, I need to ensure that my rope is routed out towards my rope bag. Taking my double pulley, rotating the two top swivels 90 degrees so that the rope can slide into place. Rotating only the center becket to close that rope. As I follow the rope around, creating my second loop, I will place it on top of the pulley that's already there, again creating a bite. Opening my pulley 180 degrees, sliding the rope into place, and rotating the pulley back. Grabbing both pulleys and fish hooking a carabiner all the way through, locking my carabiner down and backing it off a quarter turn. As I follow my rope back up to the anchor point, it will get routed through the top part of my double pulley. Rotating my double pulley 180 degrees to allow the rope to go through and my double pulley to close on. I will open the carabiner, dropping my double pulley into place. At this point, I can attach a carabiner to my becket, fish hooking all the way through, dropping in my figure eight on a bite, locking my carabiner down, backing it off a quarter turn. To determine where my PCD goes, I need to take my haul line and make sure that it is opposite that line. Ensuring the PCD and the arrow point down towards the load. Placing the rope in between the PCD Pressing and holding it into place to be able to drop the pin all the way through to the other side. I will depress the PCD to rotate it to the outside so it does not become entangled in my pulleys. Taking another carabiner and fish hooking through the PCD, rotating it up towards my anchor point locking my carabiner down and backing it off a quarter turn. I will then take my short Prusix, creating a bite on either end and folding it in half to create a basket hitch. One end of that basket hitch will go through the carabiner that I just locked. Holding both bites together and opening them up to be able to drop through the top of my carabiner, locking it down and backing off a quarter turn. If my PCD is on the top line, then my basket hitch must be on top of the pulley. If my PCD ends up on the bottom line, then my basket hitch must be to the back side of the pulley. To avoid a cross or X, between the Prusix and the rope as the system runs. In order to check the system, I will grab the haul line and the carabiner where the load would be attached. Pulling on the haul line to ensure the rope runs freely through the system. As I release the haul line, 
The Prusix should lock into place by twisting or bending the rope, stopping my descent. <laughs> 